Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Sethum and welcome back to another Atlas video. Today, folks, I'm going to be showing you how to tame the cow and the bull. So, if you folks enjoy this video and find the information in the video useful, please do not forget to support me on the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos here on this channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this, of course, can be found down below in the video description as well as in a pinned comment. So with that being said and done, for this you will need to have rushes. Now, rushes are basically a variation of thatch and you can use it as you would thatch in the game. For this you will also need to place it in your zero slot and so we're gonna start with the cow and the, the cow of course is a passive tame so this is a good thing it is easy to do and you will need to feed it once every 15 seconds. Okay so now that I've got the rushes in my inventory which I did not have I had to spawn them in I'm going to show you exactly how you have to do this. There is somewhat of a difference between this and Ark in that you have to be in front of the cow to be able to feed it. If you go behind it or from the side, you cannot do that, which kind of makes sense because in Ark we're used to sticking food up the creature's bottom. That's not the case with this game. You have to be in front of them as you feed them. So as you can see, if I go behind it, I don't get the prompt. Uh, obviously this cow found itself stuck in my base so I thought I might as well do this now a cow is a useful creature because it does provide you with milk which does have a use or, so, or two at least in the game I'm not quite sure how many uses it has I'm still exploring that avenue but it does have a use you obviously cannot ride the cow and it is basically for that resource that you will be taming it uh, I know that you can get brine from it I believe or something like that uh, which will be useful for taming other creatures. Now, as you can see, it wants one rush every 15 seconds. And obviously, you stand in front of it and you press the button when prompted. Now, obviously, this cow is stuck in my base. Uh, however, otherwise, it would move. And the, the way you would do it is you'd go in front of the cow, press the action button when prompted to feed it a rush. Now, obviously, this is the female. The male would be the bull, which is somewhat different. And with this one, I will show you a brief view of how to do it. I will also show you what it looks like once you have tamed it. And then we will focus more on the bull because the bull is a lot more complicated. I am going to show you how to tame the bull solo. And so, as you can see, it's taming bar does go up it does go up quite slowly to be fairly honest so it will take time that means you have to pay attention to your environment uh luckily on the island that i am situated at the moment there aren't any hostile creatures not unless provoked of course now the cow is also a um shy creature with the exception of what i'm taking it as an alpha cow so basically you will get from time to time a cow that spawns in at level 150 or so. Uh, that does not get the ability to feed and tame. And of course that cow is quite dangerous. If you do aggro or accidentally hit the cow or a bull, that cow will more or less kill you. It has like a little aura above its head or body, more like around its shoulders. So you do have to pay attention, that is quite a dangerous creature, especially if you're trying to tame the bull. Uh, I did have the unfortunate luck of having two of those spawn on me, and so therefore kill me. Next up, we're going to tame a male bull. Now what I've done here is I've set up some pillars. They are set up in a U-shape or N-shape, depending how you want to look at it. Now the idea is I'm going to aggro the bull, run through the pillars, and obviously the good thing about the creatures in this game is that they are quite dumb. So you'll see what I mean in a bit. Obviously, do bear in mind the bull does have a decent knockback when it does hit you. So I'm going to use this as a shield. I'm going to wait for it to come to me back out. And 
Normally at some point the bull will stop focusing on me and just do something stupid just stand around there turning around from one side to the other what I'll then do is I'll put pillars behind it to block it in now you do need to go two pillars tall because as you've seen there it will of course be able to walk over the first pillar so you do need to go too tall so I'm gonna try and show you now exactly what I mean I'm gonna wait for it to start focusing on me now I know it's not focusing on me when it's not turning into my direction as I try and go around it so it's still turning with me it stopped doing that the music has stopped so now I'm gonna try and get it stuck with the pillars so let's wait for it and that should do it right there that should stop it from spinning in that direction now you do want to get the pillars as close to each other as possible when you are building this U like trap uh, the pillars much like aren't they do have uh, a snapping point between each other you want to get them closer to each other than that if you put them at their snapping point the bowl will get through so you want to get them a bit closer you do want to have a gap and uh, wide enough for you to fit through and that's about it with regards to taming the bowl you cannot knock it out you do have to bowl it so that would mean you have to do damage to it because if you try and use the bowler without any damage it will not let you because the game will tell you that it has a lot of health or too much health for it to be bowled down the way you're going to do this obviously you're going to hit it from the behind much like an arc but you don't feed it from the behind okay so i'm going to try and bowl it now and you can say there we go target has too much health to be bowled so to be trapped so i'm gonna go and hit it one more time do be careful you do not want to kill it if you're trying to tame it so i'm gonna switch to the pike because or the spear because that does less damage than the sword i'm gonna try and bowl it now now same like with the cow you have to have your rushes in your zero slot you have to sneak up in front of it very important same as with the cow and then feed it when prompted you do get 15 seconds between each feed uh, and if you exceed the 15 seconds or if the 15 second timer uh, has finished counting the longer it takes between those feeds uh, uh, and those 15 seconds counting down you will basically lose taming effectiveness uh, you can sneak in two feeds before it starts doing this. You need to be careful because this will do damage in two ways. It will do a knockback. It will obviously do a damage on impact. And then you get this effect, which is basically a gore. And so you take damage over time. Um, obviously, you can do this with friends, but I'm going to show you how to do it solo. And of course, that does mean I will end up dying once or twice, primarily because of the gore and the bleed effect. So I'm trying to count down 15 seconds between or from my last feed. Um, if you wait far longer than 15 seconds, as I said, the taming bar will go down. You will lose taming effectiveness. And yes, this game does have a form of taming effectiveness. Now, at this moment, um, I did manage to find a bit of a sweet spot where I don't get hit. As you can see, I did get hit there. And... Also very important when taming this creature, make sure you have a bed to spawn nearby, maybe some medkits as well. I don't have medkits and I don't have a friend to help me. I'm going to show you how to do this So, So that means I am going to die once or twice to get this guy tamed. Now, it is a small level and also to bear in mind is the fact that it will not stay bowled forever. It will get back up so you then need to do damage on it and then bolo it and then start over again. So it's going to get up. So I'm going to do this is I'm going to go behind because the horns aren't there and uh, the horns have a dangerously <laughs> wide AOE, which is quite annoying. I suppose it makes sense with the size of the horns on the thing. But uh, yes, do bear that in mind. It does do some knockback as well. I'm going to try and get it from the behind. Uh, so and now I can bowl it safely. So you'll see that I'll be able to sneak about two feeds in it before it starts headbutting the pillars or, well, it's actually trying to headbutt me. Sometimes it will be successful or most times it will be successful. Uh, so that means, of course, I take damage. So let's 
get this other feed in. And I'm guessing from now on it will start wanting to head. But now I died a load of times to try and find uh, a method of doing this. I tried building a pitfall trap, but I could not find any door frames. I looked in the game's files, I looked through the skills that I could learn, and I'm not quite sure how to unlock the door frame. I do have a door, but no door frame whatever sense I, I don't know maybe i'm doing something wrong if you guys know what i'm doing wrong with regards to that let me know down below uh i've not been able to find out how the heck to get door frames and ramps ramps we need ramps in order to do this of course uh to make a pitfall trap but the pillar traps are just as good as you've seen it does get them stuck and it actually stops them from wandering about so i'm not very far from dying i'm half health at the moment um, now, the one very important thing to know here is once it starts head button, you want to get close enough to it so that it's constantly doing that, and you want to time your feed with uh, the way it's hitting the pillars. So when you hear that smack on the pillar, right after it, go in and spam E like crazy so that you feed it, because it will knock you back. And that's just the way to do it at the moment. That means you will take damage. There is... At the moment, to my knowledge, no way of avoiding this. I've tried from different angles. Uh, the whole idea is the game wants you to do it from the front where it can hit you. So, it's going to get back up in a bit. So, I'm preparing for it. So, basically, wait to hear that smack on the pillar right after it. Go in and spam E. You can normally do it after uh, or on the first try. Sometimes it may take a second try. You can briefly get a glimpse of its eating animation, and that's how you know you will have fed it. The other way you know that you will have fed it is by watching the taming bar. It will go up a tad bit. So these would be the two free feeds that I get now, and after that it should start headbutting again. Right, so after this, it should start headbutting. And the way I'm going to do it is because of the blood animation, which kind of impairs my vision, I'm going to time it with the smack sound on the pillar. And obviously, I'm going to do a countdown in the back of my head, so I'm going to count 15 seconds down. Okay, so I'm going to get close enough. I'm trying to get it to start headbutting the walls or the pillars without getting hit. That didn't work out quite well, did it? So I'm going to end up dying soonish. There we go. That's all right. I do have a bed nearby, so I will respawn at it. Then I'll go and pick up my things, and I will then feed it now. The one thing you need to know, and I don't understand why that's a thing, but once you've picked up your things and died, you will get the same prompt, but it will be in red, as you'll see in a bit. So it's still trying to headbutt me. Okay, see if I can time this. Now, if you try and go in and just feed it, you will just get knocked back every time. You will miss the feed. So that's why I told you to wait for the smack sound. And straight after the smack sound, go in without fear. Spam me as you're going in. You will see it lift its head up and chew. That means you will have fed it. You will get hit in the process. However, you will not uh, miss the feed as opposed to just trying to go in there randomly to try and feed it. The whole point of this is to try and feed it so that the taming bar does not go down and so that you get the maximum taming effectiveness. Uh, also, you will notice that it will stop head button just before it is about to get up. So that would be within the last five seconds before it gets up. I think it's 10 to 5 seconds. Uh, it does have a timer on the bowl and you can see it. And as you have seen just there uh, with my previous attempt, it does regenerate health. So I should be able to get in another feed before it starts head button. Now, I have randomly found a bit of a sweet spot where i could feed it without being hit by its headbutt like there over there but it's quite random and i'm not quite sure what that is based on as you see i'm trying to go in randomly to try and feed it and try and see what time it has 
with regards to the next feed but it does not work out that well the uh, animation on the screen does significantly impair the vision so there we go I think I didn't feed it there so I might need to do that again so basically this is what you'll be doing you just saw that without the animation right after the sound go in feed it back out immediately you can do it without being hit uh, it's just not gonna happen every time as you can see this is a small level bull as well and after you tame it you will need a saddle to ride it I'm gonna try and play around with these pillars to see I mean I've tried using pillars to block that hit but I've not been very successful as you can see they do snap and so you want to place the pillars closer than their snapping point when you make this uh, U pattern if you place them at their snapping point the ball will be able to get through so you want them basically wide enough for you to fit in but not for the ball so maybe I would say two-thirds of the distance of the snapping between the pillars so that's kind of what you're looking for with regards to how far apart the pillars should be placed I don't know if that made much sense but yeah so again we're gonna get two free feeds after which we will then have to deal with that wonderful bleeding animation on the screen before we can um, have this bull to ourselves now, this is a bull uh, I'm not sure if the other creatures have the same crazy range on their damage but I'm guessing they probably do the same as you can see it did not hit me there also do bear in mind that this is very 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 important I cannot stress how important this is make sure that the area around you is clear of any other similar creatures you do not want other bulls around because whilst it is down and it is doing this if there is another bull uh that were to be around that would immediately aggro on me and then i would have to deal with that bull as well so very very important now i said similar creatures because the cows which are obviously the females for this species are normally skittish and will run away however remember at the beginning of the video i said that there is what i call an alpha cow that is normally from what i've seen of a level uh 140 to 156 that's what i've seen so far so it might possibly go higher however it does have a kind of an aura effect similar to the dire wolf on its back that will not run away that will attack you that will do quite a bit of damage and it is quite hard to take down so do bear that in mind okay so he does get up again I'm gonna do some more hits on it I'm gonna use the sword now I do have a sword and a spear the sword as you can see does more damage to it than the spear if it is slightly higher than need before the bullet to work I will then switch to the spear as it does less damage uh, I have accidentally in my tests ended up killing the creature I was trying to tame now as you can see we're quite close and for the purposes of this video I did not want to cut anything now so you guys can see what to expect now after the second feed I expect it to kill me which is fine I do have a bed there is a one minute cooldown timer on your respawn so do bear that in mind also very important I would advise not using armor because you will take durability damage on your armor and you're gonna die so maybe not it is easier to do with friends if you have two three friends because you can swap between each other so that way you can allow yourself time to heal uh, i don't have any med kits but you can use those as well Now, obviously, in my test, I am trying to see if there is a weakness that I can exploit, but I've not been able to find a consistent weakness that will allow me to feed it whilst it's bowled. Um, 
uh, it is quite random. It does seem to be quite random, and it's quite difficult to gauge as well. So, obviously, that just means you're going to take damage. Do make sure you have med kits with you, and I strongly suggest, obviously, a bed. As you've seen, I have died twice, and it is quite challenging now. <laughs> I'm not sure if other creatures like the maybe the wolf or the dire bear or bear actually it's a bear not dire bear um has the same range on its attack i'm guessing it would do the exact same thing as it's not a passive tame um but i can tell you that the bull has a crazy range on it so do keep that in mind okay i think it's yeah okay it's got up i was hoping to get that last feed in before it got up but that wasn't the case that's fine it's nearly tamed anyways And the good thing about this trap is that it is not very costly at all. Also, in order to tame creatures, you do need to unlock it in your skill tree. It's very important. There are three levels of taming, and I have unlocked the third level of taming. Obviously, by doing that, you will be sacrificing other abilities that you could potentially have. As you can see, it is, of course tamed up but it's still bloody these are the stats not very great but that's how you tame a bull that is it for this video folks i do hope that you have found it useful this is the first creature that uh, i will have made a guide for there will be many more guides for all of the other creatures that can be tamed in this game if you folks have enjoyed it please do not forget to support me on the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new and haven't already for more similar content and if you have just subscribed don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when i upload new videos also why not check out some of my other videos here on the channel? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. And for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this, of course, can be found down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment. Until next time, stay safe, folks.